Hello, hello to all the amazing people, the Nehmer here, and today we're gonna start something fresh, something new. This is a game that was recommended to me by one of my viewers, Joek. Uh, it's called Dice Stripes Ambitions, and it's a worker placement game, uh, and that's pretty much all I know about it. You manage randomness to win. We are gonna play the demo version here, and if I like it, we might pick it up. So, we're gonna start a new game. Well, actually, we're gonna do the tutorial here, and I'll see what's up. Um... Yep, let's go. Welcome to Dice Tribe's Ambitions. Dice Tribe is a dice worker placement game in which you can place your villager dice into slots to perform actions. The objective of the game is to complete any ambition. Okay. These are the four basic resources of the game. Hover over them to see a summary of what they are. So we got food. One food is needed per villager per turn. Food is also used in some actions. Wood is needed for construction and buildings. Wood is also used in some actions, okay. <coughs> Stone is needed for construction of buildings. Stone is also used in some actions. And finally, science is needed for research. Science is also used in some actions. This is a current turn. Many events are spawned based on this, okay. This is where your idle villagers will be. You can have up to 15 villagers at once. At the end of every turn, all the villagers will return here. Now that we have the basic understanding of the UI, let's start a, a game. Right, the game consists of various types of boards. Each of these boards will have slots that you can place dice into. The village board is one of the basic boards that you will get at the start of every game. Since we only have one villager, let's uh, put it into the bird, bird slot to get a new villager. This will cost us four food. Right. Uh, four food plus a villager gives a new villager. Reroll. Okay, now let's place. Drag the dice into the bird slot on the village board. Okay. As you can see, nothing has happened. This is because the effect of the slot is not instant. The default behavior of any slot is as follows. The effect happens at the end of the turn. The dice place will stay in the slot until the end of the turn. Let's end the turn to continue. Let me see if I can change my mind. Yes, I can. Normal villager, one, two, three, four, five, six. So villagers are represented by six sided die, it seems. Gonna end the turn while the villagers bird slot. So I guess this villager finds a girl somewhere and, well, they make a baby or something. I don't know. Right. The boards are organized into various areas. Uh, the village board belongs to its own special area, the village area. The explore board is part of the basic actions area. <coughs> At the start of every turn, one food is consumed by each villager in random order. Villagers that did not consume food will die. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you have zero villager, you lose the game. Now that we have two villagers, let's do some exploring. So we had 100 food and our two villagers ate two. Plus we spent four food to actually, you know, go through the pregnancy. Okay. We do not have the right face value to explore. So let's reroll the first die via the eat slot on the village board. So we got the grasslands, the hill and the forest to explore. We need a six to explore. Okay. <laughs> What's this? Explore glasslands. Explore glasslands to find resources. Explore with explore to perform deeper exploration. Deeper exploration can uncover locations with richer resources. Tools and also unique locations. Available resources. So it seems like food and maybe stone. Unique locations. These unique locations can be found in this biome. Wheat field and herbs. Okay. Explore hill. Okay. Food, wood, stone and science. Waterfall. Durian trees, forest, rare apple trees, common, common, rare. Okay, so each one has, okay, okay, okay. Drag this ice into the east slot on the village board, eat. Okay, it has this lightning here, yeah, that's instant, I assume. This slot can be only used once per turn and it will charge at the end of the turn. Okay, so we got two rerolls here. I'm gonna send my villager to eat. And we do a reroll. Okay. It uh, so I guess it ate the food that we consumed between the turns. It didn't actually eat any additional ones. <laughs> After reroll, the dice stays in the same slot, which can then be dragged into another slot. You can also right-click it to return it. Each slot can only be used once per turn. Now that we have a dice at six, let's put it into four slot on the explore board. Okay. Forest, you say. 
beehives, apple trees. Oh, that's instant. Exploration is instant, okay. Exploring location is instantaneous. This is denoted by the lightning icon at the bottom right of the slot. Because this is an instant effect, you can't return the dice once it is placed. You can find a list of icons in the compendium over the top right of the screen. To make the odds of exploration better, let's put the other dice into the train slot. This will train the dice to be an explorer. You can always hover over any slot to see the effect. Let's end the turn to continue. Let's put the dice into the train slot. Oh, train. Convert a dice to explorer. explorer. When explorer performs an exploration, they will explore the biome further and discover additional benefits. Explorer cannot use any buildings or participate in construction except for training. So he can't make babies? So I guess the game wants me... Let's put the other die into the train slot. Okay, well I'm gonna follow the tutorial here, although I would rather have more workers, I think, maybe. Let's see what do we have here, forge. Place the collect foot equal to the dice value. Okay. Let's to collect wood equal to dice value. But what is this? Less or equal to three. Okay, so you can't use big dice in here. Oh, okay, I see, I see. Oh, game actually lets me do that. Oh no, it doesn't let me do that. Game's like, no, 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 we set. We need to place training. Okay, dude, okay. And we end the turn, okay. So now we have the explorer. Your villager has become an explorer. You can hover over the dice to see the faces. As you can see, explorer has more six than normal villager, making it easier to perform exploration. Ah, okay. So it has a two, two, three, and three sixes. The drawback of Explorer is that it cannot use any building. Another way to get new boards is to construct buildings. This can be done via the build board. Hover over the forager hot slot to see the construction requirement and also an overview of the building. Let's place the dice to begin construction. <laughs> Forager hut begins construction of a forager hut. At the end of every turn, food from all export locations will be collected and added to the reserve. This does not work on unique locations. Okay, forage. Gather food equal to the dice value. Okay, so it's like a better way to do it than through the forest. Okay. You can only gather food up to the amount in the reserves. Ah, I see. So the explored locations put food in the storage hut and then you go and gather it from there. Buildings provide various benefits. You can have up to six buildings at once. When a dice is placed, construction will begin. If the building does not have any construction cost, it will be built immediately. Okay. Hover over the forger hut. Okay, let's place a die to begin the construction. Okay. Notice that the building is not completed yet. Instead, it merely starts the construction. The construction of buildings may take multiple turns. Buildings that do not have construction costs will be built immediately. <coughs> we could start building the forger hut, but since our second dice is an explorer which cannot participate in any buildings without a task, we can't put it there. Since we are short of two wood for the forger hut, let's use the explorer to gather more wood. Drag the dice into the forge slot to gather wood. Okay, here. 
The amount of resources you gain is equal to the face value of the dice. Forge slot has a new icon 1. This icon means that the spot can only be used once and it will be depleted after use. The location will disappear once all slots are depleted. Since we do not have any dice left, let's end the turn, okay? Let's start the, the turn by putting our explorer to use by sending it to explore the hill. Okay. When explorer is used to explore, it will allow you to perform a deep exploration. Deep exploration will allow you to find unique locations. We will need more villagers if we want to be able to perform more actions per turn. Let's create another villager via bird and end the turn. Okay. Let's start the turn by first finishing the construction of the forger hut. Drag this to finish the construction. So we need one which is less than four or equal and one which is greater. Okay, so a normal villager and okay. And we cannot use the explorer, right? He just explores, can't make babies, nothing. He's the child of the nature, I guess. Okay. Next, we shift our attention to the research board. The research board is where we research new technologies. These usually unlock new buildings or ambitions. For the sake of the tutorial, let's research wooden tools. Drag this dice into the wooden tool slot on the research board. Oh really, you can do research? So it can use the training. Research. Perform research to unlock buildings. Military, prosperity, farming, hunting, knowledge, medicine, stone tools. Okay. Foraging. Okay. Research will only finish at the end of the turn. Okay. <coughs> a lot of things just happen, so let's break it down one at a time. Forager hut is finally completed. You can now hover over the various slots to see what each does. Train. Convert a dice into a forager. When a forager performs an exploration, the chance of finding food is increased. When foraging from forager hunt, the amount harvested is doubled. Demolish this building. Forage. Even. Place to collect food equal to the dice value. Reserves, the amount of food that can be forged. Explore new areas and the food will automatically be collected here at the end of the turn. Food from unique locations will not be affected. Okay, in short, Forger Hut will automatically collect all the food from all the locations and add them to the reserves, after which you can then gather from the Forger Hut directly. Since locations are cleared when all stone slots are depleted, Forger Hut allows you to clear locations much easier. So will the forager hut co like uh, pick up these here, or only these two foods? Only these two foods, right? The search for wooden tools is also completed. You can see that there is a wooden tool slot in the build board. Feel free to read the wooden tools information. Build construct wooden tools. The building does not have any construction costs that will be built immediately. Wooden tools, downgrade, decrease dice value by one, only works if the dice has that face. Upgrade, increase dice value by one, only works if the dice has that face. Okay. Train, convert a dice to a builder. Three, four, 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 and five. <laughs> For now, we will ignore the wooden tools. You may have also noticed that the slots on the research board have changed. Each turn, the researches available will change on the research board. This will happen even if you have not performed any research. Similarly, the built board will also refresh every turn. Huh. Okay. <coughs> The ambition board is one of the starting boards. The main goal of the game is to complete any of the ambitions. Each one of them is unique and provides different challenges. There are also hidden ambitions that will appear elsewhere. However, once you have started an ambition, these hidden ambitions will no longer appear. Once you have started an ambition, there is no going back. 
Lastly, an event has happened. In this case, it is an opportunity, migration. Events can be either an opportunity or a danger and will happen from time to time. Migration is an opportunity that allows us to get new villagers without having to spend extra food. Each slot provides one villager each and you don't have to place in all slots at once for effect to happen. Let's put all the villagers into the slots on the migration board and end the turn. Migration, accept villagers. For what this for means. Accept villagers. Place to get a new villager at the end of the turn. You can use one slot at a time and each slot to provide one villager. Okay. I don't know what this for means. Did we just like lose four turns or something? I don't know. I maybe wasn't really taking a look at it, but that's what I would suppose. As time passes, bad events will happen. Some events are not deadly, like rats. However, others like illness, serious illness and old age will eventually kill you. Luckily, these events will only start happening after turn 18. It is almost impossible to last forever, so it's best to aim to complete the ambition by turn 30. You can see more details by checking out the compendium. There are also different buildings that have different ways to gather resources. You should experiment with them and don't be afraid to fail on the first try. This covers the basics of the game. You're now ready to begin a real game. Good luck. Okay, start a new game. All right, so let's try it. Let's try it. New game. Scenario. Choose from a list of predefined tribes. Okay, some achievements. Of course, this will be a demo, so it will be relatively limited. Not sure in what way. Uh, maybe if we just get one scenario. <coughs> Select tribe, settlers, fishing village, forest dweller. Okay, there we go. So we only have two available in the demo, but I think that's kind of cool. Okay. <laughs> so if you're living in a fishing village, then you need a male and a female to give birth. However, if you are a settler, then you need to go and you need to feed a lady <laughs> to come and give a birth to your son. And then she leaves, I guess. <laughs> okay. Grasslands. Forest and hill. That's the tutorial we played, right? <coughs> ah, sorry, I'm a little coughing still a little bit, but it's getting better with each passing day. Uh, starting villagers, normal villager, normal villager, normal villager, normal villager, and an explorer. Okay, starting resources, 45 food, 4 wood, and 2 science. Starting buildings, farm. Ambitions, prosperity, research, enables the prosperity ambition. Military, available, enables the construction of the barracks and the conquest ambition. Art, unavailable. Okay, probably demo things, right? Food research unavailable okay food research orchard foraging water well wooden tools okay storage careful planning the difficulty of all random dangers is reduced by one opportunist opportunist every turn two opportunities will spawn instead of one Okay, the full difficulty. Oh, normal. Hard. Very hard. Two ghost dice. Minus 10 starting food. Harder ambitions. Advanced. All dangers have minus one duration. That event start five turns earlier. Oh, okay. I know what that migration was. That was how long we had that opportunity, right? So we had four turns to use the opportunity. Okay. That event starts five turns earlier, okay? And a very hard one. Four ghost dice. I don't know what ghost dice are. Minus 20 starting food. The harder ambitions. All dangers have minus one duration. Increased frequency of random. Okay, well, I... I didn't play this yet, game yet, so we're gonna start with normal. 
but I feel like we'll probably end up playing, if you like it, we'll probably end up playing some harder difficulties here. Right, let's uh, choose normal here and uh, let's start. So this is like all about, probably all about optimizing and trying to find, you know, what's good, what's optimal. Right. <coughs> I really like the idea of growing my village to give us more options, right? Okay. Hmm, interesting. Deplete to zero to collect eight food. So you put a whole bunch of dice in here and get eight food for it. A farm. Train. Convert a dice to a farmer. When farmer uses the farm, the dice value is doubled. Okay. It also has two, two, three, three, four, four. So it's very more consistent than a normal villager. So if you're gonna use the farm, you should probably train somebody to be a farmer. <laughs> Sounds good. Uh, then we have the village. We already know what that is. Place to reroll the dice. The result will always be of a different value. This can only be used once per turn and it will recharge at the start of each round. We started with an explorer. So we can explore the hills, the forests, or the grasslands. wheat field 24 for 20 this field is just straight up better than our farm okay however seven for eight actually no if you have farmers working on a farm are better because they have, so let's say farmer gets double dice, right? So he basically need eight here then. So that means we trade one, one, one pip for one food while the wheat is less than that. Okay. Leave farming, research farming or something. I don't know. Okay. Probably not going to go for grassland since you already have a farm. Explore hill. We can find some good resources here. Durian trees, harvest. Research. Waterfall. Forest. Beehives. Okay. Research. Storage, water well, orchard, or foraging. Build. So we can train a builder or we can build something. There's nothing available right now. <coughs> ambition. Choose and start an ambition. Complete ambition to win the game. Once you choose an ambition, can change it. So we can go for prosperity. Win by becoming a prospering tribe. Reach a population of 15. Trigger golden age. Survive golden age while maintaining max population. During golden age, all villagers will consume two food instead of one. Hint. Prosperity requires a lot of food. You will need about 30 food per turn. Conquest. Win by conquering the neighbor neighboring tribe. One conquer neighbor. Guess the correct dice value for each position to win. Hints will be provided at the end of each turn based on what is placed. Warning, every three attempts will generate an assassination event. Hint, conquest requires logic and some luck. Ooh, that sounds interesting. But maybe we do something simple. Okay, I, I kind of dig this game. Like, the ideas are good. We'll see how well balanced it is, though. And then knowledge, careful planning. So, for science plus odd... The difficulty of all random dangers reduced by one. Every turn, two opportunities will spawn instead of one. Okay, this is these are some very expensive researchers here, right? Uh, hmm, little bit unsure where to start things off. Storage, warehouse, store dice face to be retrieved later. Only the dice face is stored. The dice will be returned at the end of the turn. Place to change the dice to the stored. Place to change the dice face to stored value. Only works if the dice has the face. Okay. Water well enables the construction of well. Flip the dice to the other side. Ooh. Once all slots are depleted, you will need to rebuild the well. Huh.
construction cost for stone. I kind of like this, where we can like turn the die around. I assume the explorer switches between six and a three. I don't know. Orchard provides food by growing up to eight apple trees. Deplete a slot to zero to grow a tree. Each tree provides fifteen food. Okay. Foraging. At the end of the turn, food from all explored locations will be collected and added in the reserves. This does not work on unique locations. Gather fruit equal to dice value. You can also gather fruit. Right. Uh, we don't have three science though. Okay, where can we get some science? Here, on, at the waterfall. So we could send our explorer to explore the hill to find the waterfall. Explore hill. Stop exploring. Stop ex place to stop exploring and remove this location. Okay. Oh. So we can keep on exploring it. Explore here. Perform deep exploration of the biome. The chance of success is based. Oh, maybe we could have. Okay. Maybe we could have sent a person there and then explore here. Maybe. The chance of success based on the current depth. On success, there is a chance to find the following. Rich resources. Okay, tools. Rich resources locations are locations with higher amount of resources. Tools locations provide ways to modify dice. <coughs> Some dice can also find unique locations. Okay. Current depth zero, chance 10%. Oh. You can drag dice over the slot to see the chance of each outcome for the dice. Each time you explore and fail, the depth will increase and hence the chance of the success will increase. Okay, so explore it further and further to find something better. We can forge some stone here. We need a dice which is less than a 5. Okay. I think we could grab 4, four stone, right? Uh, I feel like more people will be good also. What do we do with a six? Exploring with normal villager, rich resources, tools, unique locations. Yeah, that's not really that great. I mean, you can grab another location here, I guess. Um, train, grasslands. Like, what do we do with a six here? We can drop it in here. Because six is really good, right? But it's probably better to train a farmer first. Mm. I feel like since sixes are rare, I don't know. Build. Convert the dice to a builder. I mean, it will definitely put somebody here to, like, give birth. I want to grow my settlement. And I kind of want to train somebody to be a farmer, so we can start harvesting this. That leaves us with two dice. One can grab stones here, which might be good. Four is pretty good, almost ideal, right? But we can only do this once. And then we can start on the ambition. How do we trigger the golden age? I mean, not that I want to do it right now, but um, these are kind of cool. Agriculture beehives. I mean, since we have a six, I feel like exploring right now. Let's go for the forest here. There we go. <coughs> forest. So we can forage the food here. Mm, we can forage four trees. That would allow us to build and stuff. 
I know why we can't build, because we didn't research anything. Wait. Less and or equal to two, we can get some science. Okay. That might be good, actually. Gap gets to science here. So we can research something next round. And I guess we can train this one to be a farmer. Okay, cool. What's this? Keep dice sorted. Sort dice by value. Enter planning mode space. When planning mode, drag and dice to mark the action. You can then choose to execute the plan. I assume these will not like get used up if you're in the planning phase. Okay, let's end the turn here. Okay. The farmer rolled a tree, which is okay. Food opportunity, one round. We can get four food if we send somebody. We can send a four in there. Let me... I think that's probably a good idea. I'm gonna keep growing here, though. Search wooden tools. Okay. I feel like researching wooden tools is a good idea to give us more options, right? <coughs> Should we use one person to feed poor people? Well, that's probably a good idea, because otherwise we're gonna be, like, losing that, right? Okay, farmer goes in here for sure. So, this is like 8 for 8, and this is like 4 for 4, so this is really good, actually, this one here. It's like, as efficient as the farmer. Let me see something. Yeah, yeah, okay. Um, okay, my explorer didn't really work out to be that good. We can use him to forage because he's not really good for anything else. I mean, we can re-roll him, try to get a 6 if we want to do some more exploration. How do we balance exploration and growth? Got a tree here, a tree. I mean, I'm pretty sure I'm fine with that and that, right? Let's see, normal villager, a tree. We can research wooden tools. Wooden tools. Yeah, but we need to use two wood to upgrade or downgrade. It decreases dice value by one. I mean, sometimes might be worth it, but boy is that expensive, two wood. Yeah, wood's not that easy to come by. Well, we could do foraging. Yeah, food from all export locations will be collected added to the reserves. These don't work on unique locations. Okay, but what are the... Gather food equal to dice value. You can only gather wood up to amount in the reserves. When forager performs an exploration, the chance of finding food is increased. Oh, when Forger performs an exploration. When foraging from Forger hot, the amount harvested is doubled. And it might be cool to have a Forger. We do have a farm though, so... Farm seems relatively strong. Do we reroll this? Or do we accept the average result? That's the question, right? I'm gonna reroll my Explorer here. There we go. And we will go and explore. So heal can be explored like multiple times. Oh, we can go and find another heal. Oh. Forest. We cannot keep exploring the forest, but we can keep exploring the hill. Rich resources, tools, unique locations. I mean, sure, why not? 
and the chance is gonna increase each time. Okay, I'm gonna put a farmer here to harvest. We're gonna put, uh, we're gonna put, yeah, tree is kind of awkward, is it? Uh, we're gonna put a, let me see, a four here. That seems good. Okay, so we got three dice left. Okay. We can research either foraging or wooden tools or trip military. That was the construction of barracks and the conquest ambition. Right, that's not interesting to us. Uh, you know what? Let's research wooden tools while they're here. I um, definitely feel like... Okay, if we put this here, then it goes down to six. Then we need to roll a three on the villager. I mean, we can try re-rolling this, right? Get a bigger number. Like a five. Oh, that's really good. I can place it here. That will bring it out to four. Then farmer can guarantee the harvest next round. We can also place it here to grab this this stone here. Five stones. Okay. Should we take five stones? We'll find some use for it, right? Yeah, five stones seems like a lot. And of course, let's make another baby here. Wait, what? Oh, it needs to be a one. Oh. I messed up. Okay. Um. I guess we do forage for wood then. Okay, we should be looking for ones each round. I totally messed that up. So we're going to have one less villager now. I mean, it's not the end of the world, but definitely not what I wanted. Oh, 40% now. Okay, insight. Delay. Increase the turn left by one turn. Okay, insight. Place to change the dice face to one. Only works if the die has the face. This can only be used once. Insight. <coughs> well, ones are only really good for giving birth, so. Okay, explore. Okay, so we found some stones. Now it becomes harder to find some more. But we have a lot of resources. Why are we using up 11 food, though? Oh yeah, the bird thing. Right, right, right. Okay, 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 okay. I mean, farmer rolled a two, so that would be four. I'll probably re-roll the farmer here. Got a normal six, you can go explore with that. Uh, okay, one goes there, that's fine. I feel like we'll need two farmers if we want to keep feeding the people. We're still fine though, we're still fine. Explore. Explore hill to find resources. Let's go for grasslands as well, so we see what's up there. <laughs> A wheat field, only farming. But what is this farming? Any into the light bulb. I wanna see something. So let's say if we go for another hill here, how does that work? Okay, we get another hill. I see. I see. Because this one we explored with Explorer, it has an Explore action which make, can make it better. And these two, we do export with just a normal person, so they're like, eh, so-so, nothing super special, right? Okay. I'm starting to understand how this works. 
So if we want to lose these two locations, we actually have to put people inside. Okay, these are bad. These are bad. This will be hard because I'm doing stupid stuff. This was not good. Explore forest and explore hill with a normal villager. Okay, this is deep exploration. Now I understand how that works. Okay. I'm gonna reroll the farmer here. Okay. Uh, we can grab some stuff. Can we do research? For research we need two or less. Let's see what we get here too. Okay, but we already used this. But we can research here. There we go. Now we have four research. Okay. Water well. Flip the dice to the other side. Once all slots are depleted. Okay. So for four stone we can build a water well. Hmm. I mean that seems kind of cool, right? Oh, we need an even. Okay. Forest and hill. We got a one. Should we delay the inside so we can make a bird of the new villager next round? I mean, sure. Okay. Right. <coughs> Seven villagers. I mean, yeah, you really start steamrolling, right? The more villagers you have, the, the more things you can do, it seems like. So the water well is still available. Food opportunity, right. I mean, this one's kind of cool. Funnily enough, we don't have a single four right now. <coughs> so farming is ready. Um, explorer. Let's uh, reroll the explorer. Oh, we found a thing. We found a waterfall. Okay, what's this? Convert a dice to researcher. When the researcher performs an exploration, the chance of finding science is increased. This can only be used once. Okay, leave. Leave this location. Research. Search for inspiration. Chance 50%. Gain science equal to dice value when successful. Ooh. Okay, waterfall is really good for research. Way better than these locations, okay. We could have found the waterfall, we could have also found the... Okay. Durian trees. Harvest. Six for six. Okay. Um. Hmm. So this is interesting. I mean, this is powerful. But I don't like the fact it's only 50% chance. The amount that can be forged. So it's like, if we put a 5 in, we are on average getting 2.5, right? <coughs> Well, this is a little bit less of an average, only two. That one, this one's guaranteed and this one is not. I'm not sure. <laughs> when the researcher performs an exploration, the chance of finding science is increased. This can only be used once. Right, so we can train a researcher here. I guess these are kind of rare. But this one, I definitely don't want to gamble here. Yeah, not a huge fan of this waterfall thing right now. I feel like training a researcher. Mm. Forest heal, we could go for grasslands as well. 
These unique locations can only be found in this biome. Rare and common. What do we do with a six? You would assume six is really good, but we really don't have like a good spot for it right now. Which is kind of crazy, isn't it? Like probably we want to explore. Since that's kind of rare. Grasslands. Okay. So we can get some food and stones or whatever here. Okay. I can't really do anything smart with a five either. I mean, I guess five and sixes should be put in here. Like a six is like a, t a farmer for three, right? Yeah, kind of. But right now we only need one. I'm gonna reroll this thing. A four, that's really good. I'm gonna just roll the explorer. Uh oh. Uh oh. There we go. Explorer, go find us a. Go find us a. Explorer, exploratory forest. Okay. <coughs> Explore. Oh. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, farmer, okay, so I'm gonna grab, okay, do we wanna grab the well? Or do we grab the foraging? Because, like, we have a lot of forge locations now. Yeah, let's, let's do the foraging thing. Now, wait, what? Oh, yeah, we can make wooden tools. Okay. But I wanna research that. We don't have a four right now. I feel like putting this thing in here to finish it off. Gain eight food. There we go. So now my farmer can start making this thing work. Okay, another four would harvest here. It's really good. And I want another villager. So we're going to put that there. And then what do we do with this five? Okay, we use this one up now. I can train it to be a researcher. Okay, so this one didn't give us any research. So it seems kind of rare. We can go and gamble here. As many times as we like. We can use this whenever. I mean, why can't? Not enough science. Okay, fair enough. I mean, if we could put a 5 in here. But that's not really that great. Uh, okay, we used up these. Train to be a researcher. Train to be a builder. Let's make a builder. Careful planning. Difficulty of all random dangers is reduced by one. It allows us to do this. How does that work out? Does one of these don't get completed then? Maybe. Uh, let's train it to be a worker here. Builder. Let's see. Okay. Oh, we didn't use the food opportunity. Okay. Minus eight. Okay, farmer. Okay, builder. Three, four, 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 and five. Well, if I want to build a forager hut, we need the builder to start it up. I think forager hut's going to be good here. However... <clears throat> I don't have a single one, so no growth this round. Uh. What is with this dice? Food opportunity. Okay, we do have a farmer which can grab eight food. I mean, think that's a no-brainer. Okay. <coughs> so yeah, we need like two farmers now to stay afloat. We'll see when we get that. I'm gonna reroll the builder. I kind of needed to be a four. There we go. So I'm gonna build a forager hut. And now we need uh, like something bigger and lesser. We can easily do that. A four would be nice, but I guess we'll also go for a three here. A three for three. That's pretty good, actually. Yeah. Okay, explorer. I'm gonna reroll. Too bad. Um, 
Now we can use it to forge or something, we'll see. Right, I would like to build a forger hut here. There we go. I would like to, let's see, a six and a five. A six and a five. Six is not too bad in there. Um, we can grab three stones. We have lots of stones, though. Uh, we can forge for food. No, that's not worth it. Forging for food is bad. I think storage. What was storage again? <coughs> Enables the construction of warehouse. Store dice to be retrieved later. Only the dice face is stored. The dice will be returned at the end of the turn. Place to change the dice face to the stored value. Oh, wait, what? Only... Oh, we can store it to use later. Oh, I see. That's actually pretty good, isn't it? And you can actually research that, dude. I think that's a good use of that. Okay, a five. I mean, we can forge for five food here. Yeah, these are better locations. Uh, Yeah, if we don't use this and we explore, then we lose the opportunity, right? I mean, five for five foot is good. Uh, we already have a builder. Okay. I think we're gonna train another farmer here. Or a researcher. Do we have... Well, we have time to train another farmer. There's no rush. But, uh, you know, pressure will be big on foot soon. Right, let's train the researcher then. Okay, cool. Okay. I feel like I want to build the warehouse. Are we running out of research here? Available research, research, prosperity, farming, foraging, storage, and wooden tools. Okay. So we don't actually need, if I don't go for military, then we don't. Do we need military? I have no idea. And the builder failed yet again. That's so annoying. Okay. So I want to build this warehouse thing. Oh, that's immediately built. Now we can store the dice to be retrieved later. On the following turn, I assume. Okay, that's really good. Let's grow the settlement. What turn are we on? Six. I think we are doing pretty good here. Normal is probably pretty easy, actually. Um... Researcher, when a researcher performs exploration, the chance of finding dice is increased. Okay, farmer rolled a three. So if you can go four and a four here, that would be ideal. <coughs> but if you go three, I'm gonna accept threes. I'm not gonna re-roll re rolling threes. Um. I will reroll the explorer probably though. Okay, a six. What do we grab now? Do we go for another hill? No, let's go for forest. We're gonna need it to build stuff maybe? I don't know. Beehives. No, we already have one forest here. Maybe we should just go here instead. But then this thing, right? I don't want to lose the forge five food. Yeah. Uh, let's go for another hill. Let's see if we can find the durian trees. Okay. So we got some weird numbers here. Forager hut. Should we train a forager? Yeah, we should train a forager. Even. Get food. Okay. Okay, we cannot do any research. We can train the explorer. No, I think we're fine for the explorers for now. 
Uh, insight. A place to change a dice face to six. Uh, what would we use the six for right now, though? We can delay it. Flood. Build drainage. Outcome. If danger is not cleared, flood the buildings and locations area. Water clears after three turns. Okay, that sounds pretty good. Bad. So we're going to clear this thing. There we go. Uh, let's reroll one of these. See what we get. A five. Um... We already used this one, it seems like. A five, a five, a five. We can store it, I guess. Ah, uh, so that's okay. Place to change the dice value to 5. Only works if the dice has the face. This can only be used once. Okay. So we can... Okay, I can. I see how that works. Okay, so this is like... We can store dice here to be used later. If it's like a really good dice, you can store it and save it. Okay, so this increases reliability, basically. Um, I don't feel like delaying this thing. I feel like we're gonna need another farmer soon. Mm. Right, can't do anything with this. We can do... I mean, we can gather two wood or two stone. Sure. So we clear these locations. We can clear this one. I guess this one goes away. Okay. There we go. So this thing now grabbed 10 food from the locations. Cleared one of the locations. We got a hill here. Where did this hill come from? Did we have it all the time? I guess we did. Right. Builder, farmer, explorer. What do we go for? Forest? Um, right. Merchant. Trade. The list of available trades will change every turn. Okay. So we can trade all kinds of weird stuff. Interesting. We can trade two science into eight food, for example, if you put a six in. That's intriguing to me. I'm definitely gonna go for another bird. I mean, people are power, right? I didn't train another farmer. We should definitely train another farmer. Do we wanna build something right now? We can build the wooden tools. It's kind of expensive, but it can help us out in a pinch. The difficult home run dungeon is reduced by one. Okay, let's research a little bit. We need I2 here. We don't have I2. Uh, we don't have a 2 No, we could build the wooden tools, I guess. Get the numbers we need when we need them. The chance of finding science is increased. Hmm. Okay, well, I'm gonna make a cut here. This game is intriguing me. I think it's kind of a nice, chill, interesting, optimizing game. There's like a lot of options here. It's definitely a brain burner. Not enough food for next round. Yeah, I know. Uh, but yeah, let me know in the comments if you enjoyed this. Well, if you will be watching it, I'm gonna assume you are. If you are, like and subscribe. I'll definitely make at least another episode here to finish this run. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, in the meantime, I wish you all to have a wonderful day, do something nice. Um, 
be kind to each other and let's make the world a better place thank you all for watching and i will see you in the next episode of uh of dice tribes ambitions Nimer signing out bye bye